I like the, the 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 shirt in large part because you know the Snorlax reflects it, this and I okay or it's kind of like a Snorlax like Pokemon on on the thing it reminds me but hacking the heart of expectation so I am um, I scored a tech apprenticeship where you get sponsored to go through a coding boot camp by a company where you have to sign paperwork basically to uh, come work for the company. If they choose to hire you as a, you know, once you get through the program, you know, so you had to literally sign documentation and everything, you know? And so they're paying our way through it and generously donating the coding boot camp to us. I decided to change my life and change a lot of things around and do something. And so I'm, I'm working my way through the program. Uh, this book, by the way, I'm, I'm learning on the side, you know, on my own. And, you know, as far as Infosys is concerned, and, and, you know, you guys shouldn't be worried about that because I would never hack my freaking employer. That's not something I would do. In fact, if anything, me learning how to do that would be you know, beneficial to you as a company because I will protect you from people who have nefarious intentions, you know, at least as long as I'm with you as an employee. So, yeah, I got your back on that. You know, as, as long as you guys, you guys had my back, you helped me out. So, you know, I feel like I owe you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you have my gratitude at a fundamental level. But, yeah, I, I feel... Like my approach to cybersecurity is very different than my father's who, you know, Stephen Tidwell, by the way, who felt, you know, he was always asking me, like, why are you, why are you doing all this stuff? And I'm, and you know, me, I, I've got this different view of it, which is just, I feel that somebody is always going to be doing the kinds of shit that I was doing as a teenager, you know? There's not that nobody's that's that's just not going to stop. It's not going to go away. People are like, people are going to be cracking passwords you know, when, when, you know, when I'm pushing daisies and dead and gone, it's still going to be going on. It's going to, we're going to be in a cryptography, our arms race, even still at that point, you know, it's not going, it's not going to change. It's never, it's never going to ultimately go away. Like hacking and people that are cracking and all that stuff. It's, it's always going to be with us. There's always going to be somebody out there that's willing to do it. So basically I'm learning how to do it myself because I think that the best way to beat that kind of pe those kinds of people that have nefarious intentions towards you is to become one of them yourself. You know, that's, that's my mentality uh, about all of it. And so that's why I'm learning how to do all that stuff because how else can you secure your stuff, your stuff if you don't know how to do it yourself, you know, and how else do you tell people, you know, it might be a bad idea to fuck with you and your network, if you, ha you don't know how to do this stuff yourself, you know, it, it's, it makes people scared of you. So they don't want to mess with you as far as technology is concerned. And that, and that, you know, that's where you want to be. You don't want to be in the space where they would consider screwing with you. So yeah, I don't use, I don't use Dropbox. I use Spider Oak, by the way, as far as cloud services are concerned. And I wreck Spider Oak and I would discourage you know, the, the inbuilt Windows software and to move over to Spotter Oak as far as your cloud service provider is concerned. And that's because it's end-to-end -end encrypted and there's zero knowledge encryption, which makes all the difference. They're the only ones that have your free, you know, you're the only one that has your key. They even, they can't decrypt it. They're part of your threat model, you know, at that point, you know, the, the, your cloud service provider is now considered part of your threat model. The end, you know, all of cloud storage and encryption. I mean, this is where it's all heading. So, yeah. Uh, au revoir, as they say, I got a tech apprenticeship. And I love the shirt because, you know, uh, what did Bill Gates say? If I, you know, if I, if I want to, if I have a hard job, I want to find a lazy person to do it because they'll find an easy way to get it done. You know, the Bill Gates quote, yep, you know, that's what we use computers for and coding. You know, you use writing code to automate boring activity and to save time that can be spent on other activity because a computer is doing the work. That's what's so great about computers.